All right, this is a step-by-step -step tutorial on how to set up the Simulscope mod for Elden Ring and how to use it. So basically, you need to download the mod from Nexus Mods and to extract it into the game files on your Steam folder, put a few settings in and you're good to go. Now, to the specifics. Okay, now let's go to Google, type in Seamless Coop Nexus Mods. It's the very first thing that pops up. Now, you do need to be registered to download this, so keep that in mind. Basically, you scroll a little bit down, click on the files. You'll find it right here. Check the latest version. Uh, usually, there's only one offered with manual download and pick the slow download. Now it might say, oh, the file is not commonly downloaded, just click uh, allow download to finalize that. Okay, so we got the mod file, which we'll use uh, very soon. What you need to do is you need to locate the game section. Best way to do that is to go to Steam, find Elden Ring, right click, properties, and go to installed files. Here you have the browse option, click browse. There's the game, right? So you're going to open that up. You're going to find the file that we downloaded previously. Here's the file. You're going to drag that over to the game folder. Right click, extract here. You can now delete the zip file. Now, as you can see, the seamless co-op is right here and the launcher is right here. You will only use the launcher to launch the game. But before we do that, let's check out some options. Go to seamless co-op and ERSE settings is the file you need to use. Basically, open it up, and the most important thing is to set up the password. Call password is whatever you want to use, but uh, try to keep it unique so that uh, you don't match with other people accidentally. Something like Kikomi Elmo 69. You make sure to save that, and you're ready to go. A few other options that you can use in the file right off the bat the first option, invaders. Do you want to allow them? If the answer is no, type 0 here and save the file. Debuffs, Rot Essence, every time you die you get a debuff. If you want to turn that off, put a 0 here. These are all on by default. Um, summons, if you want to allow summons, that is up to you. And other things are just relating to scaling. So just save the file, close it, go back, run the game through this launcher. Do not run the game through a standard exit. Um, if you load the save file that you use through the Simulscope, it might create issues for you. Now, speaking of save files, we want to back up the original save files you created. It's best to go to the search settings, type in app data, open the file folder, there's the Elden Ring. Now, open this folder on top. These are the vanilla game, the base game save files. Um, they are basically tied only to the save files that uh, you use on the vanilla game. I recommend you cut them, right? Cut and you paste them somewhere else as a backup and you will bring them back when you play the base game. That way you don't let the seamless co save files mix with the base game save files. You will avoid accidentally launching the seamless co character while you're trying to play online, for example. Now, when you start the Simus Co-op, it's going to create its own saves right here. They're going to look something like this. So, the Simus Co-op save files, they have CO2, CO2 buck. The original ones have SL2 and SO2 buck. So, now that you have prepared the save files, you have set the password and all the other settings, you are ready to uh, use the launcher. Steam should be active and online. Just uh, open the launcher and you should start up. This is a free mod. This is the first message. This mod uses separate save. We talked about that. The game starts offline. Do not log in. Just get into the game, make a new file. You cannot use the original vanilla game save files. You need to start a new file. And once you're in, let's select, uh, for example, a boom. So, go to inventory, select the second uh, option, the tools. If you want to open the world to Wanderers, just use this pot. Anyone who has the same password as you can join. Um, also, if you want to join, you use this effigy of Melania. If you have the same password as the host, it will connect you. If you want to separate people or get separated, use the separation mist. 
This is an invasion tool, basically. Um, it works only if people allow you to join. This, I believe, will create a PvP, like a friendly fire, if you activate it, among the people that already joined. And Rude Decanter is basically a rune arc, but it costs uh, the same amount of runes that you need to level up. So, for example, runes needed for level up is 15,000. If I wanted to use the rune decanter, I would need to spend like 15k, and it's going to give me the effect of the rune that's equipped. And that's about it. Cheers.